The market is an actual or nominal place where forces of demand and supply operate and where buyers and sellers interact directly or through intermediaries to trade goods, services, contracts or instruments for money or barter. Markets include mechanisms or means for 1. Determining price of the traded item 2. Communicating the price information 3. Facilitating deals and transactions and 4. Effecting distribution The market for a particular item is made up of existing and potential customers who need it and have the ability and willingness to pay for it. Further definitions are Market as a meeting together of people for the purpose of trade by private purchase and sale and usually not by auction or market as a geographic area of demand for commodities or services or a specified category of potential buyers. Demand is understood as the buyer's desires for specific products, which could be either goods or services, and is based upon the buyer's willingness and ability to pay a price for them. Several elements have an influence on demand. Among them we have the price of the good purchased, the price of complementary or alternative goods, the consumer's income, the consumer's own expectations, the quality of products and services offered, the flexibility or inflexibility of demand, and the consumer's needs. The supply of goods and or services. The term supply is commonly understood as the process of putting a quantity of a given good or service up for sale at a certain point and at a given price. The characteristics of supply have an influence on price and the market type for a specific good. It is furthermore influenced by different factors. For instance, 1. The production costs, price of raw materials, cost of technologies used, cost of workers' wages. Two, Technology. Top quality technology may entail initial higher expenditures for research and development, but then it drops production costs and increases supply. 3. The prices. 4. Governmental policies. The abolition or decrease of customs duties brings an increase in supply of exportable products. A need manifests itself when a fundamental necessity is left unsatisfied. These needs are classified according to the Maslow's hierarchy, as the scheme shows us. According to American psychologist Abraham Maslow, the human needs can be portrayed in the shape of a pyramid with the largest, most fundamental levels of needs at the bottom and the need for self-actualization at the top. At the lowest layer, we have the psychological needs, physical requirements for human survival, such as breathing, eating, drinking, sleeping, sex, and so on. Then we have the safety needs layer, such as personal security, health, financial security, etc. The third layer represents love and belonging needs, such as friendships, family or sexual relationships. The fourth layer represents the field of self-esteem, such as confidence, achievement, respect of others, and so on. And eventually, at the top layer, we've got the need to self-actualization covering the demand of morality, creativity, spontaneity, and acceptance of facts, and so on. Human desires are identified as a specific longing for objects, persons, or outcomes useful to satisfy specific needs. Desires are influenced by external factors such as culture, religion, etc. The marketplace as seen through an economic perspective. The market, as explained before, is the gathering of demand and supply, and therefore, of buyers and sellers. In macroeconomic and microeconomic terms, the market is regarded as the meeting point between demand and supply. The market is therefore the place of, also figurative, and the very act of economic trading exchange of raw materials, goods, services, money and other types of commodities in relation to the economic subsystems of reference. The market through a marketing perspective. 
The market is seen as a system made up by the whole of potential customers interested in a product, a good or service, offered by a business. Customers therefore can 1. afford to buy the product through an income, 2. get access to the product through delivery channels. Here it's important to introduce in a broader sense two kinds of market. The one called the served market, which is a particular market segment a business has decided to serve, and the one called penetrated market, which is a set of customers or clients who are already using a particular product or service and are already active consumers of it.